Hey y'all, what's up? A late night chat. Well, I guess an early morning chat. So excuse the croakiness, I guess what that's called in my throat. But I cannot sleep. So hopefully I can keep y'all company. <laughs> I'm preparing for a colonoscopy. Yeah, good fun, right? I haven't started the prep. I do that later on today and I'm not looking forward to that at all. Who does? Oh, I just wish it was another way they can do it. And then um like I don't mind the not eating part but that yeah, let's not talk about it cause <laughs> but um I don't know why I cannot sleep. It's just like I'm my mind is just activated i've been decluttering all day i've made good good progress on makari better than i thought i didn't even know makari has like a bundling option and that's so cool like that makes me want to stay with them like if somebody purchases like say you have a your makari store and you have like 10 items and somebody wants all 10 of those items well they can like select it and put it into their cart and then make an offer and that's what somebody did today but the messed up part about it is i didn't get the email saying that they had made an offer i had just happened to go into makari and saw that um that they had an offer and i gladly accepted so I'm super happy about that. I'm going to have a sale on YouTube too for my, it's going to be on my other channel for my planner items and some fragrances, like Bath and Body Works um, and Victoria's Secret, like the body sprays. I bought so many of those. I don't know why, because I don't like body sprays like that. It's because they don't last some of them do, but I hate reapplying. I just want like a one and done. I ordered the um, dossier version of Libre. I purchased that. Like, when I purchased, I had a sample of it. And I was like, I have to get this. Even though I'm decluttering. I have to get this. Like, but I'm not going to collect perfumes and all that stuff. But... I mean, anymore, because I, I have done that in the past. I just wish I could go to sleep, because I know I got to get up early in the morning. I got to go pick up my medicine. And I have to clean up my living room. It is a hot mess. Like, since I was decluttering, everything that I was like going to donate or didn't have a spot for it. I didn't want it in my room so I put it in the living room and yeah it's, it's, it's a mess I need to go rest I wonder if the recycling yard is open tomorrow oh my goodness did y'all see Christian Keys first of all I had a crush on him like something terrible when I was younger and I remember he did, he had like a song. I didn't even know he, he sang. And yeah, but so horrible to hear what he went through. And you can hear the pain in his voice. And everybody is saying that it's um, somebody with the initials TP child. I'm trying. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> but uh, it does seem like it's that person. I just want to know how far this is going to go. Like, if he's going to settle, because he has tapes, um, recordings, I'm saying tapes. <laughs> he has recordings, and he said he can release it, and he'll take five lie detector tests. So, that person probably is shaking in their boots, whoever it is. And if they're a billionaire, I would have to pay him. Well, I wouldn't have to pay him because I wouldn't 
do that, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. Oh, my goodness. I almost call it Charlie Hearts in my life. I'm sitting here moving like, can they see me? But it's pitch black in here. But, yeah, that was something. It was hard to hear because you could see, like, how disgusted he was and how, like, it, it affected him emotionally. And even, like, he had, like, a physical reaction to it. And talking about the lady, the woman, I ain't going to call her no lady, the woman who essayed him as well. That's hard. It's like men don't want that. I've seen that in the workplace, too. Um, my old job, I had this, there's this, like, uh, team leader. And he wasn't even all that, but... For some reason, like, if your man works in an office with a bunch of women, child, you better watch out because it's like he becomes a celebrity. And I don't care what, uh, especially if he black. <laughs> but this dude, he was not all that cute, nothing. I, I mean, he was cool. He was really cool. Not fine and all that stuff and I'm not trying to talk down on him because you know how I'm looking these days but um there was women that would just talk to him and like rub on him I remember this time specifically this lady went to his desk and was like rubbing his back and you could see him like moving over it was just it was always uncomfortable and men don't want that either. I don't know why people think that it's okay to do that. But I hope Christian Keys gets some justice. And I'm happy he's succeeding. I always wondered what he was... Well, not always wondered. But I wondered what he was doing. And I'm happy to know that he's doing something. And I hope this doesn't hinder him or get him blackballed. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> Oprah, like, Oprah had the thing with Harvey, I don't know if you can see his name on, on YouTube, but Harvey, and now if it's, if it's TP, she cool with him too, like, girl, how you attracted, how you cool with all these people, girl, <sighs> oh no, y'all, and Cardi being offset. Separate. I, I'm not surprised. Excuse me. Thank goodness I'm yawning. I'm not surprised over that because they're young and it's not an excuse, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm not surprised. Like they, it's the saying that a man is only faithful as his options, and I truly believe that. And then when you're young and attractive and, yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate because they have those two beautiful babies. And, again, you can hear the pain in her voice. And I know how that feels. It's, it's I don't know. I do not, I don't know what to say. I just, I wish her peace. And I hope he continues to be in those children's lives, which I'm, I'm sure he would, but... Cause she always says he's a good father, so but yeah, I I was listening to somebody and it was like people go through breakups every day, you know, Cardi B ain't special, and that's you know, that's true, but she's a public figure, so like y'all don't know my cousin who's going through a breakup, we all know Cardi B though, <laughs> well, most of us, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. I guess since I can't eat, I'll go shopping for food. I want to go get some salmon, some wild-caught salmon. Why isn't that sold in regular stores? Like, the the grocery stores. I was trying, like, I went to um this grocery store, like, in my neighborhood. And they did not have any. I was... It, I have to go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. 
And I know it's going to be like a, a down payment on the car to get something. I want that. I want to start. I haven't lost any weight. I've been maintaining my weight. And I have to get this weight off of me. Oh, y'all, I, I went to this event on sometime last week. I was on camera. When I tell y'all, I look like a church mother. I look like Hattie Me. I look like Madea. As big as I I was like, girl, you wrong for this. You need to lose this weight. So... I need to change my diet. It's, it's, it's diet. So uh, I was, and I don't want to get on these trends, but I watched somebody was talking about how they would drink juice. Because I find when I eat later in the day, I don't eat as much. And I've heard that too. Like if you start to eat early, the earlier you eat, the more you'll eat. Because it's like you activate whatever it is. So, um... This young lady I was listening to, Haley, I can never remember these, the last name. It's like something with MB in it. She has like a weird last name. I don't, I don't want to say weird, that's offensive. A different last name. But she said that, she, well, she does the, the intermittent fasting, the 20 hours fasting, four hours eating. I, I'm not doing that, but she drinks pressed juice in the morning and she said she watched uh, I think it's called like fat and sick or something I don't know it's it's a, some kind of documentary but that's what they recommended that you drink pressed juice for breakfast I'm gonna try that as I want to get some more fruits and vegetables in my system and her skin now mind you she's 26 I think it's Haley Gomba like G-A-U-M-B but her skin is popping. Okay? Like, I mean, it's just shiny. It's, it, it's not a filter. You know, it, it looks good. But um, she looks great. And then, like, her before and after pictures. What I tell you, I was looking at her. her and her recommendations came on my homepage so many times. And I was like, that's a lie because her after it looks like her but it looks like an older version of her it just it didn't seem realistic and then I'm like oh it's another one of these young children trying to tell me how to live you know you got a lot of that like now she's into that whole like that girl era and all that stuff I think it's cute but I feel like it's trendy and but I think it's something that's good because when we were younger, you didn't have social media, and these things weren't taught, you know. But, um, where's the light coming up? I'm like, it's the sun rising. That's my computer monitor. Oh, I want one of these clocks that is like a sunrise clock. It'll illuminate the whole room at sunrise. Anyway, back to Haley. So, she... I don't know what I was saying, but she talks about drinking press juice in the morning. Now, here's the thing. It's expensive. There's this place called Main Squeeze, and they have press juices. You can buy, like, a five-pack for, like, $50. Child, and see, here's the thing. I, if, if it was Outback or something like that, I would not be tripping about the price. I'd just be like, mm. I'm going to enjoy this meal. <laughs> but since it's juices, I'm like, I'm going to pay $50 for some juice. <sighs> but I think I'm going to do it. I've had, like, one of their juices before, and it was really good. I have to get back. I have to get myself together. And his, like, uh, the, the um, experience at that event was... How long have I been talking to y'all? Girl, is it recording? Ooh, I was about to be so mad. Oh, 14 minutes. It hasn't been that long. So, that experience, seeing myself on camera at that event was one thing. 
and then um, seeing my ex now, like this, I've seen you know, like I've seen him a lot, but it's I always feel insecure when I see him because I feel like he laughs at me because <laughs> I gain weight. And, I mean, he's not small either, but it's different for men. Like, men can be big and, and it doesn't matter, you know? But it seems like, like, I don't know. But he would never ridicule me about my weight, like, during our relationship. But afterwards he said some things and I'm really like I'm tired now I'm getting tired but um he had said something and then you know like you just don't want your ex to catch you down bad but he has to you know we have a child together so he has to see me I just you you just don't want your ex to see you down bad, but like hiding from him and different people is just and I didn't realize like how big I was till I looked at this picture, y'all. I wish I could show it to y'all, but it has like my personal information, well, around it. <laughs> so, um, just why, girl? I'm just why like a linebacker. I was. Y'all, I was watching this documentary on The Rock. It was on YouTube. I'm always watching YouTube. And they were saying The Rock is, he went from, like, he played this role, and I think he lost weight. And he was like, he went from a massive 230 pounds, six feet, whatever, 230 pounds. I said, girl, I was 230 pounds, like, last year and and quiet is kept I'm not too far from me still you know I was 240 actually I weighed more than the rock and Haley was talking about that too like reverse body dysmorphia like you don't see how big you are and Especially like when you're not used to being big, but she was talking about in terms of um, attractiveness because she's a very pretty woman, and she said she never had to. She's always been attractive, so she never had her weight really be an issue. Like she never had a tr- had trouble getting men or whatever. But I, on the other hand, have not have haven't ever been this big. Like I had a weight gain before. But it was nothing. Like, I had never gotten over 200, I don't think. And, yeah, I was, like, at 190. I remember I was, like, at 190. But, y'all, I I was, like, oh, my gosh. Um, Let me stop before I start crying. But I have to get this together. And it's diet, y'all. Like, it's it's most diet. I'm just... I had to build up. But anyway, let me get off here because I'm getting tired. So, thank y'all for listening. Uh, Leave your comments. Like, comment, subscribe.